United Nations peacekeepers, police and civilians work hard to provide security, sanctuary and peace for the vulnerable people of war-torn South Sudan. The relationship between the two groups should be one of mutual trust and confidence, but at times it breaks down when the power imbalance results in local people being subjected to sexual exploitation and abuse by UN personnel. It's a, a conduct which is uh, absolutely abhorrent and a conduct which is extraordinarily painful to its victims and undermines the United Nations itself. And of course, um, dents the trust that communities should have in the United Nations. Jane Connors is the UN's first victims' rights advocate, putting her at the forefront of efforts to prevent, respond to and ultimately eliminate sexual exploitation and abuse. Her role ensures that victims are at the centre of the UN's approach. Dignity for the victims, um, compassion, a real feeling of empathy, uh, a, uh, a, a a feeling that they're not forgotten, that victims feel that they can tell their stories um, to someone like myself and in, if they're lucky to the Secretary General, as some have been able to do, uh, that they're, they're hurt, uh, their pain is um, acknowledged and we can do what is, as much as we possibly can do uh, to make their situation better. The ASG is visiting South Sudan to promote the importance of the no-excuse, zero-tolerance approach to UN personnel. She's also met with victims and local authorities and spent time listening to the concerns of internally displaced people in protection of civilian sites. There should be no victims. Women and girls should not feel pain. And all I can say is the UN entities, funds, programs, agencies and the missions stand with you and will work together with you, but you are in the lead to say no and act. Globally, there were 103 allegations made last year, with four in South Sudan. While the numbers seem low, that may be because the stigma attached to this behaviour makes victims reluctant to report it. Encouraging reporting so the perpetrators are held accountable is vital. Many victims are focused on their lives. Um, as you all know, uh, a legal process is, takes a long time and many victims wish to move on. They are interested in justice, but at the same time they wish to rebuild their lives, um, move into a scenario whereby they feel valued, uh, they are not stigmatised, uh, and that is the approach that we need to take. We need to ask the victim what she or he wants and not substitute our judgment, not say you need to do this, you need to do the other. Supporting victims is the priority, but ultimately it is hoped that the UN's new approach will entirely eliminate the scourge of sexual exploitation and abuse.